So uh, it's a very interesting topic that is really coming up today. The patient, when you ask, when you tell them that they have multiple sclerosis, the first thing they want is something that they can really do themselves, not only the treatment that comes from the medical doctor. And one thing that they always ask is about nutrition. So I was really thinking about how nutrition could be addressed in, in, in research. And of course, nutrition does influence the gut microbiota. So it's how I decided also to study this gut-brain axis. So there are many progresses in the late years that came in this field. Um, first, that we found that patients with multiple sclerosis have a different microbiota than patient that or person that does not have multiple sclerosis. So we know that is a dysbiosis, so change in the microbiome. But exactly how it works, nobody really knows. So one topic of my research is to use animal models to look what is happening in the intestine of the animals. And we see that we have pro-inflammatory cells that get into the intestine and that can be educated from the environment in the intestine. And probably also from these dysbiosis can impact the immune response. And on patient, we are now doing surveys about nutrition. And when we were talking about pros, we asked the patient to take pictures of what they are eating. And now we have trying to correlate it with blood markers. And I hope that in the future, we can address a little bit more this question of nutrition, gut-brain access in MS patients. So this is a very difficult question. The first thing I tell them is that it has been shown that a healthy lifestyle has an impact on the disease outcome. So one thing that I really advise them is to have a healthy eating without going in, in diets that are very specific, like taking out the gluten, lactose, this is probably too much, but already to start with a healthy diet, for example, the Mediterranean uh, diet would be very helpful. And to quit smoking, because smoking has been shown to um, promote the progression of MS disease. So simple thing that they could start with but the first one is to have a healthy lifestyle, which goes with a healthy nutrition.